Yeah, I think one of the things that we really that really helps us when we talk to investors is in our space doing what we do, which is sort of being that brain that transforms a legacy industry. There have already been two very large acquisitions in that space. And that helps us because people understand there's some validation to what we're doing and the approach that we're doing. Again, you go back and, and we do get investors who say, no, I'm only interested in somebody that's building the entire robot. Um, yeah, that just doesn't make sense to us. It's a very capital intensive way to approach the problem. You have to build your own sales, distribution, support, parts channel. Um, then there's sort of leasing a robot that's autonomous. There might be a business there, but it's just not terribly interesting. You know, what we want to do is do things that are, that are done on a massive scale. And working with these large manufacturers is, is uh, we think, absolutely the way to go for that. And it has, to be transparent, it has taken a while for the venture capital world to buy into that value proposition. And I think it's because the, the sort of the highway is littered with others who have tried the other approaches mm -hmm. and haven't been able to find a business in there. Yeah, it seems like there's the, a maturity that the market has, or the industry has to go through before you can really allow a good amount of investment to go into it. Yeah. Wasn't it, you were mentioning some of these companies have been bought recently. One of those was John Deere just made an acquisition and- um, and Tora made an acquisition as well. Tora? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. And essentially it's doing exactly what we do. So um, it's great validation and we have interest from their investors as well, the people who want to double down and you know, continue investing in autonomy. Um, but the, the real people that are investing in this space are the big manufacturers. So um, I will say this, I, I, I am very much in admiration of all three customers that we're working with right now for having the vision, for committing the resources to it, and also understanding that the best path might be not doing it in-house and having the courage to sell that upwards to their organization and get buy-off on that. So there's a lot of internal politics in a Fortune 500 company to get that kind of thing pushed through.